quick video on 3D view transparency. First things first, set up a basic material. If your object hasn't got one assigned, just create one. Texture buttons, UV, and add an image. Make sure that your image has an alpha channel. open. That's uh, the first step which is just to set up a basic material. Now we can assign the image that we've added to the object. UV map it and wrap and then assign the image. If we go into text shading mode the object will be white which is effectively what the image is is white because there's nothing showing the transparency. Next we need to change a few settings within the materials and so click on the material button, activate transparency, change alpha to zero, click on the texture, properties, scroll down to influence activate alpha and leave this setting as is. Next we need to change the mode which Blender itself uses to display materials in the viewport. So open view properties, N key, and scroll down to... there it is, shading. Currently the default is multi-texture. Change this by clicking it to GLSL and watch the cube automatically turns to or reads or uses the transparency from the textures alpha channel. The advantage of this is that any object with this material will be transparent. The alternative way to get 3D view transparency is to assign it per face. So we've created a clean scene. As per before, set up our basic material. Image, UV, add the same texture. Again, make sure that your texture has an alpha transparent uh, Select, edit mode, unwrap the object, and assign the image. Switch to texture shading. Now, because this is assigned per surface, select a surface, and in object data, a set of properties will be available. They're only available when you're in edit mode. Transparency alpha and the image changes. This needs to be done to all faces that need transparency. They can also be made double sided And that's pretty much this the standard way that Blender will render transparency in the 3D view. Worth noting here, the texture face properties from 2.49. So this does exactly the same thing. The only difference is that we do not have the ability to assign properties to a group selection. So there we have it. The two approaches to viewport transparency